thing's huge. Look at it. Monster Munch Mitt. And welcome back to the Paul Holden Details channel and welcome to the warm and muggy Pratt Cave. Now, in my last video, I was doing the leather seats of the Volvo with Geist Leather Care. Got great results with that car. This time we're doing Sean, the owner of the Volvo, doing his girlfriend's car, a filthy Ford fart tester. Or to everybody else, a Ford Fiesta. Got a number of different accessories this week and I've got some liquid products, yes. Some interesting ones. Right, we'll get into the accessories first. These are the kind of fake wheel woolies. You've probably seen these on the interweb. They're on places like AliExpress and Timu and you name it, they're on every other site you can think of on the interweb. Very, very bendy. Uh, they remind me a bit of the Chemical Guys rim packers. However, these are softer. We're gonna be featuring those in this video. Uh, we've got this, which happens to be my favorite accessory of all time. This thing, I'm calling it the Monster Munch Mitt. It's primarily for wheels, but on the back, there is a scrubbing pad here for interiors. And on this, you can use it on the bodywork. And that's where I'm gonna be using it, not on the wheels. So I've got that from VP Products, Valentin Products, I've got Taboo. Met these guys at Waxstock, great bunch of guys. pH neutral shampoo. But the one everyone's gonna be interested in is this. Yes, I have finally got a dry helmet on the channel. Yes. No, not that one. This one, ceramic sealant dry helmet. Now, if you haven't seen or heard about this, you're in for a treat, or maybe not. They do wet helmet. Yes, I said it, live on the channel, yes. Well, not live, recorded, for posterity. Uh, yeah, so they do wet, wet helmet and they do dry helmet, a ceramic sealant. Those are the goodies. Also, which you probably, and this is not my wise bike over. You've probably seen them before, right in front of me, I've got Auto Glim Heavy Duty Wheel Cleaner and Clean All, which you may have seen on the video with my dad's car. Enough about that. Get yourself something very, very cold. I've had enough of this heat. Pour yourself a large one and roll the video. So here we go then. But before then, I owe everybody an apology for not getting this video out before I went away to North Wales. Ignore what I say at the end of this video. I'm actually back. Of course I'm back because I'm doing me voiceover. I was just running out of time before I went on holiday. I ended up packing late into the evening and then leaving at the wee small hours for North Wales. So I'm back now in sunny Essexville. So yeah, on the day I shot this video, it was around about 24 degrees or thereabouts. A little bit of sun, unusual for Britain. And this was the Fiesta. Not a lot of gloss going on here. Lots of dull paintwork. Yeah, you might think it looks glossy. It's not, especially around the rear. Muchus, not shinius. Ah. Oh. That's a classic language. Uh, that looks like coffee or gravy, and that's definitely not welcome. Go away. Cheap wheel willies now, or wheel brushes, as they're listed from Johnny Shield Detailing. He has a fantastic YouTube channel. Go subscribe. I will put a link underneath the video, and we can get the wheel brushes from. Auto Glim. We have their heavy-duty wheel cleaner and clean all their multi-purpose all cleaner. We also have this. This is an Atlaster brush, chemical resistant. I've had that for years. I've got two of those. The other one is the commercial grade. If anyone wondering what on earth is a commercial grade, all I can say is it's very, very stiff. It's probably used more on engine bays than anything else. Back to the chemicals. We have around about a one to eight ratio of the clean all product from auto glim and we're going to use it to degrease the tires and we're going to use it on the bodywork as a pre-wash when tires are this bad you are going to have to follow this up with a secondary hit it's well worth doing your tire dressings or tire serums will thank you so bad i'd have flush out my tough shine tire scrubbing brush not good. So when it comes to the wheel cleaner, this is around one to six ratios. Play around with the ratios. If it's not really doing anything, not really foaming up much, then make it a bit stronger. However, it depends on which brushes you use with this chemical. 
doesn't really foam up a lot when you're using tools like this. You'll see later on in the video with a different tool, it tends to foam up. So when I'm using this, it looks like it's dying. It's not because it's doing its thing and breaking down the grime. Detailing brushes look good on camera, but when you get a brush like this, it really does speed things up. You can get right into the corners where the spokes are, and they're especially good for doing your wheel nut areas or lug nuts if you're in the US. So don't be afraid to get stuck in with a wash mitt or a microfiber around the back of the spokes. See what I mean? I switch to a Vicam brush and this reactivates the foam and it foams back up again. Depends on which brush you're using. This is good to finish off, but it won't get rid of all the stubborn stuff right in the corners. Now, if you're new to the channel, check out the rim map video. I'll put a link above those are what's placed underneath the wheels to stop you knackering your knuckles and destroying your fingers and your wheel brushes. Or rather, tire scrubbing brushes. So these are a bit more pliable than chemical guys, rim packers. However, the quality control needs a lot to be desired. Now, I've been told by Johnny Shield that this is perfectly normal. It looks like I've scuffed it there somehow, and they've started to shed a bit. They didn't keep shedding. Apparently, this is normal. They just have like a outer layer of fluff, and once that's gone, they're good to go. We'll see how long they last. Let me know if anyone's got any of these brushes. So back to door shut areas. Got the clean all product again, the auto glim clean all. We're going to allow this to dwell for at least 10 minutes. We can start breaking down the grease and the grime, and then we can flush it out after. Always make sure you do underneath your doors. And sorry to Ford fans, but they tend to rust here. Those the drain holes get bunged up with junk and then the door rusts inside out. Switch over to a normal detailing brush, a generic detailing brush, if you so will, for this area, because it's a little bit more easy to get into rather than the Atlas to one and a bit more delicate. And when you flush out that area, make sure you put the uh, glove over the top. So on the front, we've got the bug ridden area all around the lights and on the front lip. We're gonna give this a good 10 minutes as well. On the rear, however, not so many bugs, more just a grime. So while I'm blasting this car with all these chemicals, a big shout out to Stewie Preston for providing my music for all these years. I never give him a shout out, so thanks to Stewie. Those are the copyright free music tracks you're listening to in the background. Back to the Filthy Fiesta, and after a good 10 minutes of dwell time, this broke down all the junk, and I was able to flush it out and continually flush it out. There was dirt coming out from everywhere. There's a rebate underneath that glass, just tucked in there above the badge, and all the junk tends to stick in there and just keep flushing out, especially if this car hasn't had a proper detail, or at least a decent maintenance wash. So one of the most satisfying things for me is the pre-wash. Let me know your favorite part about doing a car. This is when I get all excited, start sweating, and getting all very out of breath, yes. Oh no, that's something else. Anyway, back to this. Uh, in the sun for this one, so allow this to dwell for only five minutes and don't allow the product to dry out. 
So one thing I did notice when I was flushing the panels away was there is some bonded contamination, namely tar spot, and I'm sure there's some more stuff going on as well. And that's gonna be the next stage, unusually. We'll talk about that in a moment. So that was after the pre-wash. So I let this dry out and then concentrate on areas like this. So once that was done, I then hit the pressure washer up again and blast it to kingdom come. No, it's me getting excited. Red seven next, and you're thinking, hang on a minute, what happened to the two bucket wash? Well, I looked at the panels and noticed they were definitely contaminated with something. So I hit it up with this. The pre-wash was done so well. I thought, let's go to this stage. Don't worry, the two bucket wash is coming. Lots and lots of bonded fallout melting away. Yes, it's a wheel cleaner, but it's also a fallout remover. It's a very effective one as well. So another flush, get rid of it all. Next up, Taboo. This is from Valatin Products. Link underneath where you can get this from. So we're gonna use this as a shampoo. Don't get confused, we've already done the pre-wash. So I happen to put 100 ml of this in my lance and use it like this. This will help keep the panels cooler for longer. Waste not, want not, shoot the rest in your wash bucket. So this isn't an ordinary wash mitt. This is the Monster Munch mitt. I'm sure that's not the right name. I'm sure people will correct me in the comments section. This fingered mitt. I absolutely love this thing. We will talk about this at the end of the video. Yes, the reverse has a different side to it. You can use it on interiors, believe it or not. It's very tactile straight on either hand it doesn't matter you can get two which would make an interesting thumbnail perfect for things like lips front lips and grills Probably thinking, hang on, what's wrong with a wash mitt? There is nothing wrong with a wash mitt or a wash pad even, but the amount of times I've dropped a pad on the floor or a wash mitt. Areas like this, perfect for grills. You can really get your fingers in there and start working it in. Once we've done all that, it was time for tar and glue, thanks to GT's tar and glue remover. There's quite a lot of tar in this car. As you can see, it's peppered with it. So you're gonna follow that up with another rinse. And that was it to start with. Next up, oh my God, here we go. Dry helmet, this is the sealant. You need to stick around to the end of the video for all the conclusions as well. Interesting stuff, this. So I've got a puck style applicator. You're supposed to use this in a crosshatch method. And you need to leave this for 10 minutes. Do a panel at a time. Do not get it near your nose, it stinks. So removal method. So I'll try this with a dry microfiber. Don't, it's very tricky. Use a damp microfiber to take it off.
Next up, SCTT. This is the tire dressing and trim dressing. I don't mention this in the end of the video. I should do really, very underrated product. This is from High Definition Detail Ceramic. This is what a product. And that is it. Do not leave because we're going to be talking about the products at the end of the video. I'm back in the Pratt Cave. So after many hours of sweat and toll, I finally finished the Ford Fiesta. Now, let's go right from the top, from the beginning. Use heavy duty wheel cleaner before. I've used the, let's get this down. So I've used this before, heavy duty wheel cleaner from Auto Glim. And I've used this before. This is the clean all product from Auto Glim as well. Highly dilutable, they're both dilutable products. Performed really, really well on the day. Used the clean all as a pre-wash and it did a really good job on the Fiesta. Bearing in mind this car's not being decontaminated, okay? Wheels, really, really good job. The dilutable wheel cleaner is very, very good at its job. Can you really compare it to Red 7? Not really, by Auto Smart. I did, however, use that on the bodywork and as you saw in the video, it bled quite a bit. You know, this car's not been decontaminated and then we followed it up with the tar spot removal from Gary Therapy, which works very well. Just allow it to dwell quite a bit and then pre-coat the microfiber of your choice, preferably an old one, hold it on the panel and then just wipe it off. Quite a bit of stubborn tar depository on that car. <laughs> the next thing, we're gonna talk about the accessories. So these, these wheel willies, these fake wheel willies, you know, they're cheap as chips these are. I'll put a link where you can get them from. It did, however, molt. Now, spoke to Johnny Shield who sent them down. Apparently this is normal, you know. This sort of comes off. I thought I'd broke the damn thing, uh, but it, it will keep going and they are what they are, they're cheap. Can you put them up against things like wheel willies? Of course you can't, they're, that's like, out there somewhere, they're a premium brand. My wheel wheelies are still going really, really strong. They're kind of bulletproof. Same issues with these, going up in the side of the calipers, around the back of calipers, you just can't get them in and that's when the wheel woolly or an easy brush or EZ brush comes into play. And these are still dripping down my arm. That's horrible. Um, they are what they are and I'm gonna continue using them. I'm gonna see how long they last. They've got these uh, nipples on the end to protect your wheel so there's no nasty wires poking out. And bang for buck, they're good, to be honest with you. They're just, they're not wheel willies. That's all you need to know, okay? So those of you out there just go, oh, I'm gonna to stick to wheel willies. Well, you can save yourself some money, and if you're short on money and you're just getting into detail, into car care, then take a punt on them, yeah. Let's just put this down for one moment. Uh, this, what a bit of kit. Where have you been all my life? I need two of them. I believe he's sending down another one. This is fantastic, it's really, really good. I'm not used it on interiors yet, but on exteriors, it, it sounds really dark, but it's just, it's a no-brainer. Around door handles and around grills and things like that, you can just grip more and then underneath the front lip. And it's just an easy thing to use, even with my massive like Edward shovel fingers. Cheap as well, you know, these are cheap. And I know there's other brands out there you can get them from different sites, but uh, I'll try and put as many links down below. I've really enjoyed that, I'm gonna use that more. Uh, when it comes to the Valentin products, Taboo, yeah, not a bad shampoo. Shoved it in the bucket and in the Lance. Foams up nicely. On the day, it was pretty warm on this day. It was very humid and then the sun came out, which made it even worse. I'll try to get around the car as quick as pos. You might see the foaming shots. Sometimes when using different cameras and stuff, I actually re-foam the car because by the time I got around the car, it's starting to dry out and that's purely me mucking around with cameras. So don't get too hung up on that, but yeah. Lubrication was there, nice decent scent. Don't ask me what it smells of. I'll try and narrow it down, hang on a minute. Yep, that's fruit. I think it's strawberry, off the top of my head. 
Now, <laughs> when it comes to this, the, the dry helmet, I'll talk about my dry helmet. I spoke about that for a while. The key to this is in the timings and the removal, okay? So damp microfiber, which I have sat behind here, not exactly the, the, the same one, but get one of these pre-damp. Just get your trigger spray on your, on your lance, on your pressure option, and just lightly douse it. Fold it over a couple of times, make sure it's damp. Tried it dry. Yes, I went in dry, ladies and gents, and it was a real sod to get off. And that's me being polite. It was very finicky, very draggy, and I just was like, I was gonna give up. I was getting really disheartened with it. Switched to a damp MF. It leveled it out, and it was easier. It wasn't easy, it was easier. Now, the summary is, what do I actually think about this? At the end of the first car, I was struggling with it. I've got to be honest with you, I was struggling with it. So I thought I'd get another car, which was my neighbor's. I, I did my neighbor's car and I tried a panel on the back, same process, decontamination, iron fallout, and then I started using it again. You've got to give it the maximum 10 minutes. Now that goes against things normally. You think that's going to be even worse. It's actually easier to take off after 10 minutes. I know, go figure, it's very strange because I tried it different times because I wasn't getting on with it. The gloss is amazing, it's very, very good. Nice deep gloss, it does coat the car very, very well. It's just not the easiest product. And for God's sake, do not crack the lid on this. Do not smell this stuff, stuff even. Um, don't smell your own helmet. Good God, no, don't do that. It's evil, this stuff is evil. Somebody bought this up to me at Wax Stock and it, I, it literally just melts your, it, your eyes stream, your nose is streaming, do not. And I'm not doing it to wind you up, just don't smell it. Whatever's in it is nasty, don't smell, don't smell a dry helmet. Who wants to do that anyway? But the a absolute <laughs> bit that stands out is the gloss. The gloss is there, it's brilliant, and no doubt the water behavior is fantastic, but t the usability of it for me, I didn't like it. I really didn't. There's a there's other products out there which are a damn sight easier. So sorry guys, I just didn't get on with it. You know, and I've tried it on a couple of cars. Maybe the other version, the wet helmet, is uh, is better than this. Maybe we'll try some of that. But yeah, shampoo is great. Go and check them out. I'll put the link below this video. But this was just too finicky for me, guys. It was too oh, I don't know. <sighs> Dry helmet. That's just not for me. <laughs> anyway. Thanks for watching guys, as always, continue to keep subscribing and put your thumbs up and get involved in the comment section. I wanna go out and check all the other videos I've got on YouTube, check them out, please check them out. I am going for a break now, I know I mentioned this last time, this was the last video before I go away, so I am going for a break now, so I will catch you when I get back. Meanwhile, take care, keep subscribing, keep watching. I'll see you on the next one. Ta-ra!